Well, Zane Adams, man, I I never even heard of the guy. He looked pretty good. What what made what do you think of him? And what made him so so tough today? Yeah, he threw a lot of strikes and uh, you know kept some guys off balance. We let some good pitches go by and swung at bad pitches and uh, you know got ourselves out a lot. But you know I think give him credit, he was ahead to count and uh, you know we just. We didn't get him early. We we hit some balls hard early, and they went at people. And I think our hitters got a little frustrated, pressing a little bit. But you know, he walked two hitters the whole game. Is both uh, well, he he walked one and uh, Aloy, and then and then Davis walked Aloy again there in the ninth. But you know, they didn't give us anything, and we didn't hit very well, obviously. And then Brady, I think that was his uh, most innings in an SEC start, most since early March against the, I don't know, some Murray State or somebody. Just I, I know he pitched with some traffic, but what did you think of Brady's uh, game? I thought he battled, competed. Um, really did not have his breaking ball for the first three innings because we were a little concerned um, because he couldn't land it maybe one time in three innings. And then the last couple innings, he started throwing a little more around the plate, um, got a strike out or two with it, and, um, you know, was able to get us through five, you know, just down a run. And, uh, you know, that, hey, that's all you can ask. He did his job. And, and maybe with Alabama scoring five, it, it, it didn't turn out to be so big. But when, when Sprague Lott didn't score from third, it looked like there was some hesitation or confusion or something. What, what, what was your take on that play? Yeah, I mean, you just got to think the play out a little bit before the pitch. And uh, the ball's hit to the left of the third baseman from a left-handed hitter, so it's kind of sliced on the ground. And, you know, he hesitated because he thought he was going to field it and run into an out. But the worst thing that could happen is you run into an out. If he fields it, he's going to throw him out at first anyway. You know, the ball's to the, to the fielder's left. Just run. If he fields it, see what happens. But if he, you know, he had no chance to score really when he stopped. And then tried to start again. So, um, yeah, that was uh, that was a little mistake there, in my opinion. Yeah, I got a couple more if I see others uh, with questions. So I'll, I'll uh, turn it back over to Oliver, and if I could ask a couple more at the end, thanks. Christina. Yeah, Dave, you put Peyton Holt back in left today. Just what was your evaluation of him? I know he had the big double play in the first. I thought he played great the two games he played in. I mean, his first to bat, he hit a line drive to. Center, right center, went left the bat. We thought it was going to drop. There were two outs and runner on second. And, you know, McCants ran in and made a nice catch. And, uh, you know, he just missed another ball that he flew out to left pretty deep or center, left center. Um, I, I liked his approach at the plate. It was it was really good to see as we're trying to figure out what to do over there. And, uh, you know, right now I'd say it's his spot. And then Will McIntyre got hit a little bit more this weekend than usual. Just what did you see in his two outings, especially today's? Yeah, maybe just not as sharp as he has been. Um, you know, we didn't pitch him in the midweek, trying to rest him up. But, uh, you know, you give Alabama's hitters credit. They just sat on that cutter away and it wasn't in the zone. They didn't chase it. And, uh, you know, they, they, they blooped one in on him and, you know, some things did not go our way. Obviously they had two ground ball base hits inside the third base, first baseline and blooper down the right field line. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, sometimes when you're swinging, you're aggressive, good things happen, or sometimes it's your day. Sometimes it's not, but I didn't think we'll threw the ball bad at all. I think just one of those things really. Daniel. Hey, Coach. Um, Kendall Diggs, is, uh, you put him back in the leadoff spot. Just anything on the thought process there after Peyton? For yeah, so just long? trying to just trying to shake it up a little bit. Just trying to find a way to score some runs. And, uh, you know, I thought Peyton swung the bat really good Friday and Saturday. Looked like a guy that was going to drive in some runs. And I thought, well, I'll move him down a little bit and kind of stagger the lineup and move Kendall up. And, you know, he's he seems to be taking a lot of pitches, some pitches that uh, early in the count, I thought, well, you know, kind of acting like a leadoff guy, I'll put him up in the leadoff spot. And, uh, you know, didn't really work, did it? And then you said you didn't know much about Coach Vaughn coming into the series, I guess, having played his team three times now. Just what are your thoughts? They got a good team. I thought they had a good team three weeks ago. Um, conference play started, and they got off to a tough start, but – you know, they, they swing the bat as good as anybody we played in conference play for sure. And, uh, 
you know, they're they're going to win some games. Thanks, Coach. So I'll close it out. Dave, you coming home? Quick turnaround. You got Texas Tech. It's not like you're playing, you know, some rinky dink program. Just what? What do you think about coming home and having Texas Tech? Uh, you know, two tough games. And how important is it to try to get back on track while well, while you're home before you got got to go back on the road again? Yeah, I just want to play good. Um, I think it's great that we're playing good team team with a power five team, big name, uh, a lot of tradition. I think it's probably the best thing that could happen to us after losing two straight. We get to, you know, we, we got to play good. We're going to play good or we'll get beat again. And I think it's good for this team. They need to play good. Yeah, I don't know what Tech did today, but they lost yesterday to TCU before they, they'd won eight in a row. So it looks like they're playing pretty well. Do, do you know, do you know, I know you're obviously folks on Alabama. So do you know much about Tech? Uh, yeah, I know some things, but I don't know what we're going to talk about. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And and then it took 35 games for you guys to lose back to back. Most coaches would probably take that. I know you don't like losing, but uh, just how do you feel about the fact? I mean, you're still 30 and five and 12 and three in the league. I mean, most people would would uh, would appreciate having a record like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm proud of the guys. They've played hard. Um, you know, you know that it's not going to go your way every weekend. You know, this this game is uh, I can eat you up a little bit. So we we just got to move on. We got to get better. Um, I'll try to mix up the lineups a little bit this Tuesday and Wednesday and give the guys an opportunity to play. And, you know, maybe maybe something will jump out at us that, uh, you know, somebody's going to show us they need to play or pitch. How did this uh, Tech series get scheduled? I know, I know that I guess they've come here before, but how did, how did it get scheduled? And do you guys go back to Lubbock next year or the year after that? Or I assume you have to return the games. Uh, they were just looking to to get on the road. And I think this week, this week worked for them. I don't know. If, you know, if they're, I don't know exactly, but, you know, they, they put something out that they were looking for some games this week and we had opening, you know, when we were scheduling a year or so ago and it just worked out, you know, we don't have plans to go back there. Okay. It's got one more question on my, my favorite name player, Pey Peyton Holt. Um, you know, he's an older guy, obviously he's done well for you. I think we all knew when Stovall came back, he was the second baseman, obviously, but what does it say about Peyton that he, he kind of, you know, waited his turn. I think he started 14 or 15 games, but now that, you know, you give him a chance and he's really uh, taking advantage of it. Well, he's a good teammate. Even when he wasn't playing, he was, he was cheering guys on and staying in the game and ready to pinch hit or go in. And, uh, you know, the coaches and I'm sure the players really appreciate that. Um, you know, they'll pull for him, but, uh, you know, he's, he's a good player. We were just trying to figure out how to get him in the lineup and, you know, we had him pretty much, working in the outfield exclusively the last few days and thought he played well yesterday and made a couple of nice plays today. And obviously he swung the bat. He was real competitive at the plate and that's all you want to see. Hey, I got one more, the, the hitting, you know, obviously didn't go well this weekend. Do you feel like that just some teams go through, especially in, in the SEC or how do you feel about your hitting right now? Yeah. I mean, we struggled this weekend, obviously really from about mid game on, on Friday, but, uh, but we still had a chance to win yesterday. Today, you know, not so much, but had a chance to win when when guys aren't, you know, really producing. It's really this weekend was more about timely hitting. We didn't get too many of them. And uh, that's kind of what cost us. Uh, Alabama got some big two-out hits that kind of kind of did it to us, put us away a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, you worry about it, but, you know, I, I, I think we're going to be fine. We just we need to get back, relax, and and play good baseball. You know, Bybee, you're going to start him Tuesday or? Not sure yet. One of the two, right or left. But uh, I'll, I'll talk to Coach Hobbs. They're both available, obviously.